for this video, I'm going to talk about the third of the Ten Commandments. Um, I have already actually talked about this a little bit in previous videos. In uh, video creation part two, I explained how the story of creation is a story of love, and in that I explained how the God's rest on the Sabbath it was also an act of creation, and how um, God's rest on the Sabbath was also like a, a, celebra a celebration and appreciation of what he had created. And then in another video called The Dignity of the Human Person, I explained how the Sabbath is also a sign of our dignity. Um, in our rest, we show that we are more than our utility. So um, I, I encourage you to watch those if you haven't already. Um, so let's start by reading what the third commandment actually says. Remember the Sabbath day. Keep it holy. Six days you may labor and do all your work, but the seventh day is a Sabbath of the Lord your God. You shall not do any work, either you, your son or your daughter, your male or female slave, your work animal, or the resident alien within your gates. And um, this, this is from Exodus. The version in Deuteronomy is uh, worded a little differently, but says basically the same thing. But then the version in Exodus and the version in De Deuteronomy both diverge um, and say something completely different on, on the last verse. Um, this, is, this is the one from Exodus. Exodus that continues and says, For in six days the Lord made the heavens and the earth, the sea and all that is in them. But on the seventh day he rested. That is why the Lord has blessed the Sabbath day and made it holy. Now Deuteronomy on its part instead says, Remember that you too were once slaves in the land of Egypt, and the Lord your God brought you out from there with a strong hand and outstretched arm. That is why the Lord your God has commanded you to observe the Sabbath day. All right, so here we have God giving us two different reasons why we should observe the Sabbath day. The, the Exodus version is remembering how God rested and saw us as good. And then the Deuteronomy version is remembering how we rested after God had rescued us. Um, so, for Christians, we observe, uh, well, we fulfill our Sabbath duties on Sunday which is the eighth day or the first day, depending on how you look at it. Um, the Sabbath is a Saturday, uh, the seventh day. Um, but for Christians, uh, we, we actually observe the Sabbath, fulfill our Sabbath duties on, on Sunday, which we call the Lord's Day. Um, and here's, here's the reason behind that. Um, on Saturday, we remember our creation. But on Sunday, we remember our recreation by means of the resurrection of Christ. So our recreation is a greater event than our initial creation. Um, and also, on Saturday, we remember our ancestors' rescue from slavery in Egypt. But on Sunday, we remember our rescue from sin by the Paschal Mystery. Our rescue from sin is a greater event. Um, so because of this, we fulfill our Sabbath obligations on the following day called the Lord's Day. Um, but Saturday is still a special day. We still call it the Sabbath. Uh, so the question is, what should we do on the Lord's Day? What are we required to do? And the first point is we are required to keep the day holy. Um, there are holy places like churches, um, holy objects, holy people. Sunday is a holy day. Um, we should always treat it as such. Um, and at the very least, we should rest and pray. And that brings us to our next point. Um, I want to talk about rest. We, we need to rest on the Lord's day. Um, we should do our best to rest. Um, however, if there's a legitimate need to care for others, then we should do so as well. Um, uh, this, is a, this is a quote from Jesus. He said, The Sabbath was made for man, not man for the Sabbath. Um, and what this means is that even though we're required to rest, if there's, uh, if, you know, there's a legitimate need to work uh, and, and help those in need, then we should do so. Uh, <coughs> 
I, I, I live in California, and in California there is a tendency to just, just completely disregard this uh, third commandment. People work on Sunday like any other day. And, and so when I work, sometimes I have to fight to, to ensure that um, I get my rest on Sunday. Um, but I know that if there's a legitimate need to work, um, you know, somebody needs care and help, then, then I, I need to do so. The, the next point about what we should always do on the Lord's Day is we must always attend Mass. Uh, we should attend Mass every Sunday. Um, you know, the Catholic Church requires that we attend Mass every Sunday and every Holy Day of Obligation. And the Catholic Church even calls it a grave sin if we don't. Um, as far as what days of the year are holy days of obligation, just keep an eye on your church bulletin for when um, we have holy days of obligation. There are certain days throughout the year um, that are, that are um, holidays, basically, certain holidays. And so, so keep an eye on that. Um, the last point um, for the third commandment um, that we should do on the Lord's Day is we should remember um, the commandment calls us to remember our creation and our recreation. It calls us to remember our rescue from slavery and from the slavery of sin. Um, so, so this is a day of remembering as well. So with that said, um, that completes um, what I wanted to say about the third commandment. May God bless you.